Okay, um, hey, it's Zara Hardy for the Trans Youth Channel, and, um, this week's topic is, like, relationships and sexuality. So, like, would we date trans guys, um, or, like, gay men, or who we would pretty much go out with? Um, I'm ri- oh, and yeah, my hair is disgustingly curly. This is it naturally, so it looks really gross. Um, I'm pretty much really inexperienced in, like, the dating department, but I'm still really picky about what I want. Like, I, I'd never, I haven't really been on any dates and I've never been in a relationship, but I didn't really care about it at all, really until I started my pills, and then that's when I started to get bothered by the fact that I'd never had a boyfriend or anything. Um, but I know what I like. Like, I want to date, like, a... I, I have a really big thing for, like, Irish men. So Irish accents di drive me insane. Love them. Um, so I'll start with the first question, I guess. Like, would I date a trans guy? I would, um, but the whole, like, if they were still pre-op, then it might bother me because, like, I know what I want, and they don't have it yet, but, like, just as us trans girls want to be seen as just as much of a girl as any biological one, um, so do trans guys. They want to see be seen just as any biological guy, so... I wouldn't want to discriminate on them because of that, because they're a trans guy. Um, and like, would I date a gay guy? I would not, because I am not a guy. They, gay guys like men. I'm not a man. Simple as that. In my younger days though, like, when I after I found out I was trans, but like, before I started transitioning, I had a little kind of fuck buddy relationship, I guess, um, with a gay guy. Um, that didn't last very long, but it didn't really mean anything either. It was really just to get laid. I probably sound bad right now, but whatever. Um, yeah. So... I'm picky about what I want still, though. Like, a guy with a good job, he has to have dreams, of course. He has to be going somewhere in life. Um, love tattoos and piercings. Not too many, but the right amount. Just, like, a, a couple of each. And, uh, Irishman, of course. Um, if you can play an instrument, automatically fucking sexy. I don't know what else to say though, because like, I'm really, I really haven't been on dates, haven't had a boyfriend, haven't had a relationship or anything. Um, and like, there was a question from somebody, and if you want to send us questions, um, transyouthchannel at gmail.com. You can email us questions or whatever. There was a question from somebody about them knowing that they're a trans girl, but not identify, but not like living as a girl yet. And they wanted to like know if it would be okay for them to date a gay guy. Um, I personally wouldn't because, like. Whether or not you identify as a girl or not, or yet not, I don't know, um, you're, you know you are. Like, I knew I was a girl before the rest of the world did, so. And like, like, it would, even if you tried it, it would just bother me that the guy would be like, this is my boyfriend. Like, that's what the gay guy would say, like, introducing you, and I'd be like, um, why'd he call me a boy? You know? Like, I couldn't do that. I would, 
even if I tried it, I would just end it because they are referring to me as male. They see me as male, and I'm not male. Like, that's... It probably bothers me more than it bothers other trans girls because I, I don't know. I'm just weird. But that's me. Um, I wouldn't date a gay guy. I wouldn't... I would date a uh, female to male. But mainly I'm just like... Attracted to like... I don't know, your average... Irish guy in a band with tattoos. Um... Fuck, what else was I gonna say? But, I guess since I started my pills, and like, I've wanted to get a boyfriend, um, I made an account on Plenty of Fish, right? Um, you know, the website Plenty of Fish. And I've been getting messages from a lot of guys, um, asking questions like, Go, I'm doing a video. Um, getting questions like, like just really stupid stuff, like, so you're a chick with a dick or what? Um, and I'm just like, um, well, no. Like, I don't know. I try to answer them because I want to educate people about trans, but a lot of people are just so uneducated about it. And like, I think some guys would be interested, but, but the whole situation would kind of throw them off. Like, I, I have been in that situation from a Plenty of Fish guy. Um, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to embarrass him. Um, but basically, he, he was into me, but he wasn't into the trans thing. And, like, he... We tried it out, and... He couldn't do it. He couldn't do anything. So... I guess it's hard for guys, but I'm not really sure. Like, I don't know how a straight guy deals with dating a trans girl. Like, uh, people have been saying that if a straight guy would date a trans girl, then they must not be completely straight. But I don't agree with that at all. Because we are girls, just like any other girl. <sighs> except for that... Like, pre-op ones, anyway. Except for that little bit. Um, but I say that they are. They just... It's just not kind of something you have to deal with. It's so bad. Ew. It's just kind of something you have to deal with and get over, but there's stuff like that with any relationship. So... Okay, um... I really hope I said something worth hearing in this video, uh, but probably not. So, Zara, peace out. See you later.